preceding bouncing into the assertion, it's imperative to deal with the importance of what we're looking at. The Tremendous Hadron Collider, LHC, built by CERN, remains a fabulous achievement in science. Spanning over 17 miles, this mind-boggling network of superconducting magnets is not only the largest but also the most powerful particle collider on Earth. It is a remarkable representation of human genius and scientific accomplishment. Shockingly, the LHC is so powerful that it can mimic conditions similar to those during the universe's birth. Yet, as we explore the vastness of the universe, could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of existence, inadvertently expose us to dangerous outcomes? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most prestigious scientific research institutions, including 23 member nations and a large community of experts. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. While the LHC is its flagship project, it is just one part of a broad array of particle accelerators and experiments. Think of it as a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles racing against one another in tests of speed, precision, and the very nature of space-time itself. At the LHC, protons are accelerated to nearly the speed of light, emulating the energy levels present at the moment of the Big Bang. The resulting collisions produce temperatures far hotter than the sun's core. A series of magnets directs the protons along their path, while advanced cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The collisions are designed to occur at four distinct points around the accelerator, where specific detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, capture data. Each detector serves a unique function, offering a different perspective on the outcomes of these collisions. Together, they act like enormous cameras, recording the aftermath while scientists sift through the debris to uncover elusive particles like the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, and other phenomena that help piece together the building blocks of our universe. By focusing on the subatomic realm, scientists seek insights into the fundamental nature of the universe. However, each new discovery only raises further questions. The LHC is not just a tool, it represents humanity's relentless curiosity and thirst for knowledge. It embodies our drive to understand the forces that govern existence. Yet, as we push the boundaries of the unknown, we must confront the ethical and existential challenges that accompany this pursuit. What dangers could arise from delving too deeply into the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge inadvertently open doors to forces beyond our control? At CERN, where the limits of human understanding are tested, an unsettling realization has emerged, one that has sent shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and a respected voice in particle physics, recently shared a troubling statement that has both captivated and alarmed people worldwide. According to Cox, the purpose of the LHC is to simulate a miniature Big Bang, a small-scale version of the very event that birthed our universe. Cox elaborated on the significance of this goal, explaining the LHC's tremendous potential for groundbreaking discoveries, such as unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant part of the universe. The prospect of harnessing the fundamental forces of the universe is undeniably captivating, but it comes with inherent risks. The miniature Big Bang is not a theoretical concept, it is a real phenomenon occurring within the LHC. The collider replicates conditions of extreme heat, pressure, and energy, mirroring those at the universe's earliest moments. With such immense power comes enormous responsibility. What if something goes wrong? This concern is not new. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced an incident that profoundly altered his life. While working with the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a malfunction caused his head to accidentally cross the path of a proton beam. The beam, traveling at an almost unimaginable speed, pierced his skull, entering through the back and exiting through his nose. Although Bugorsky experienced a flash of light brighter than a thousand suns, he remained conscious and even walked to seek medical treatment. The aftermath was both fascinating and disturbing. He lost hearing in one ear and suffered partial facial paralysis. Despite the severity of the injury, his cognitive abilities remained unaffected, and he continued his scientific work. Bugorsky's experience serves as a stark reminder of the power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks associated with a particle collider like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. There are genuine concerns about unforeseen reactions that could alter the very fabric of existence. Some scientists worry about the possibility of creating a tiny black hole inside the collider. 
Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are mysterious and terrifying forces lurking at the edges of the universe. Could the LHC create even a tiny black hole? And if so, could it grow uncontrollably, consuming the Earth from the inside out? CERN scientists have assured the public that any black hole formed would be incredibly unstable and would dissipate instantly. Still, the slim chance of such an event has sparked widespread debate and concern. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole, we must first consider the workings of a particle smasher. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy generated is so intense that it can warp the fabric of space-time itself. This extreme level of energy brings us into the realm of quantum mechanics, where the laws of physics seem strange and unpredictable. The possibility of creating a minute black hole has drawn the attention of prominent physicists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned about the potential for the Higgs boson to become unstable at extremely high energies, which could trigger catastrophic consequences, such as vacuum decay. Vacuum decay is a theoretical event where a disturbance in the universe's energy field could create a bubble of lower energy, known as a true vacuum, that expands at the speed of light, fundamentally altering the laws of physics as we know them. Although this scenario is purely theoretical, it underscores the delicate balance of probing the universe's fundamental forces. Sir Martin Rees, a distinguished astrophysicist, also raised concerns about the LHC's experiments. In his book On the Future, Prospects for Humanity, Rees emphasized the potential dangers of particle accelerators, particularly the devastating implications of vacuum instability. He acknowledged that while the probability of such an event is extraordinarily low, the consequences would be so catastrophic that they merit careful consideration. The stakes are undeniably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. Researchers at CERN have conducted extensive simulations and analyses, implementing numerous safety measures to ensure the collider's operation is secure. Brian Cox has stressed that the energies involved in LHC experiments are far lower than those naturally occurring in cosmic ray collisions in our atmosphere. The likelihood of creating a stable black hole, he assured, is astronomically low. Even if one were to form, it would be so tiny and unstable that it would vanish almost instantly, releasing a burst of energy as predicted by Hawking radiation. Despite these assurances, some speculate that the LHC's experiments could open pathways to entirely new dimensions or even parallel universes. While this idea is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the public's imagination, inspiring countless myths and stories. The notion of opening a gateway to another universe, or a portal to hell, has been sensationalized in media, amplifying uncertainty surrounding these experiments. But where does this idea come from, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions or multiverses isn't new. String theory, a leading contender for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more than the four dimensions we experience, three spatial dimensions and one of time. These extra dimensions, though hidden from our senses, could theoretically be accessed under extreme conditions, such as those recreated within the LHC. Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, unlocking doors to realms that have remained concealed since the dawn of recorded history. When protons collide at unprecedented energies, they could create ripples or waves that probe these hidden dimensions. While speculative, this idea highlights the allure of the unknown and the possibility of revolutionary discoveries. The potential to uncover other dimensions continues to captivate the public, even though most scientists are skeptical that the LHC will open a literal gateway to another universe, or to hell itself. Nevertheless, the idea of the LHC acting as a cosmic key to unlocking new realities fascinates the imagination of many. So, should we worry about the risks associated with the LHC? It's easy to get swept up in sensational headlines and fears of a cosmic disaster. However, the reality is that scientists at CERN are acutely aware of the potential dangers. They have taken precautions to ensure that the experiments are conducted safely. As Brian Cox pointed out, the LHC operates well within the bounds of natural occurrences. The energy levels it reproduces are routinely observed in cosmic ray collisions with Earth's atmosphere, which have been happening for billions of years without catastrophic consequences. In the grand scheme of things, the Large Hadron Collider represents humanity's insatiable curiosity and relentless drive to understand the universe. While the risks, however small, cannot be completely ignored, the potential benefits of uncovering the mysteries of existence far outweigh them. As we peer into the unknown, 
we must tread carefully, balancing our thirst for knowledge with a profound respect for the forces we seek to understand. The journey of discovery is both exhilarating and humbling, reminding us of the immense power and responsibility that comes with pushing the boundaries of human understanding. As humanity delves deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the work at CERN and the Large Hadron Collider symbolizes a pivotal chapter in our scientific evolution. The potential breakthroughs stemming from the LHC are not limited to physics. They also hold the promise of transforming technology, medicine, and even our understanding of reality itself. One of the most significant areas of research is the exploration of dark matter and dark energy. Together, these elusive substances constitute about 95% of the universe, yet their nature remains largely unknown. By recreating conditions similar to the Big Bang, the LHC provides an unprecedented opportunity to detect particles associated with dark matter. If scientists could confirm its existence and properties, it would revolutionize our understanding of how the universe is structured and how it evolved. Additionally, the LHC continues to refine our knowledge of the Higgs boson, a particle whose discovery in 2012 was one of the most significant scientific achievements of the 21st century. Often called the God particle, the Higgs boson is fundamental to understanding why particles have mass. Further research could illuminate how mass itself arises and whether the Higgs boson has any role in phenomena like inflation, the rapid expansion of the universe moments after the Big Bang. Beyond these scientific ambitions, the LHC's advanced technologies are already contributing to practical applications. The cutting-edge cooling systems, superconducting magnets, and high-speed computing used in the collider have inspired advancements in areas like medical imaging, cancer treatment, and quantum computing. The ability to analyze and process massive datasets generated by the LHC is also driving progress in data science and artificial intelligence. However, the ethical and philosophical questions surrounding the LHC cannot be ignored. While the potential for catastrophic events, such as black holes or vacuum decay, remains highly theoretical, the very act of probing the universe at its most fundamental level forces us to confront deep existential questions. Are there limits to what we should explore? How do we weigh the risks of our pursuit of knowledge against the potential benefits? And, if the universe is more complex than we can currently comprehend, what responsibilities do we have as stewards of that knowledge? These questions echo beyond the realm of science, resonating with philosophers, ethicists, and theologians. They remind us that science does not exist in a vacuum. It is deeply intertwined with the human condition. The LHC is not just a machine. It is a testament to our boundless curiosity and our willingness to challenge the unknown, even when the answers might unsettle us. As we look to the future, CERN's work is poised to grow even more ambitious. Plans for the Future Circular Collider, FCC, a proposed successor to the LHC, are already underway. With a circumference of 100 kilometers, nearly four times larger than the LHC, the FCC would push the boundaries of energy and precision, allowing scientists to delve even deeper into the fabric of reality. The FCC promises to extend our knowledge of the universe and may even unlock new realms of physics that we cannot yet imagine. Ultimately, the Large Hadron Collider serves as a reminder of humanity's dual nature, our capacity for wonder and our drive to understand. It is a beacon of what we can achieve.